right let's look into the uh, worked example uh, of a cyclone design so these examples are from uh, martin root's textbook uh, introduction to particles technology right so in this question they uh, want us to determine the diameter and number of gas cyclones required to treat this amount of ambient air with this characteristics viscosity and density and the solid density is given at a suitable pressure drop so for this question the pressure drop is given in terms of 100 meter height and then the desired cut size is 4 micrometer and this cyclone design uses Stairman uh, high efficiency with the Euler and uh, Stokes 50 number fixed number this is a constant yeah so uh, first of all we can uh, determine the uh, pressure drop uh, from a given um, 100 meter gas uh, height of uh, uh, a cyclone so it's the pressure drop uh, at this height so we times by the uh, density and gravity so we get the uh, total pressure drop and uh, the first thing that we can calculate is the characteristic uh, velocity so we can use the uh, Euler uh, equation from equation 9.1 so your Euler is equals to uh, total pressure drop over uh, density v square over 2 so since we have the total uh, pressure drop we know the density of the fluid so we can find the uh, v then uh, the next we can use that v we used equation uh, 9.2 which is uh, v is uh, related to the flow rate of the uh, gas square okay so we know the flow rate which is 2 meter cube per second so we know the v now so we can calculate the d so now we get the diameter uh, next uh, we use uh, equation 9.21 which is the stk 50 equation Okay, this STK 50 is equals to x uh, x square 50 times by density density of the particles and the velocity over 18 uh, mu viscosity of the gas and the uh, diameter that we just uh, calculated this one okay so if we use all these values that uh, are already known this is particle density yeah so we can find our uh, cut size for this cyclone okay so from this cut size we can see um, this uh, more than the uh, cut size given in the uh, question uh, sorry so this is the the cut size desired in the question is uh, 4 uh, micrometer so this is too high and we must therefore opt for passing the gas through several numbers of cyclones so there's more than one cyclones in parallel so that's why the cut size was uh, is uh, smaller so this is big so assuming the n number of cyclones in uh, parallel so we take uh, the flow rate would be total flow rate which is the two meter cube uh, per second divided by n numbers of the cyclone so again uh, we use equation 9.1 and 9.2 to calculate the new diameter okay now the diameter will be uh, will have the n uh, unknown okay so this is the new diameter and we substitute in equation 9.21 uh, to obtain the required cut size for d and the required cut size which is uh, 4 the required cut size is 4 and the V is still the same as calculated originally uh, because this is uh, determined solely by the pressure drop. So then we can find that the N is 1.386. So we can't have 1.386 number of cyclones. So we need at least 2 cyclones. So now with N is equals to 2, then we calculate, we reverse calculate. We can calculate the cyclone diameter from this equation and we can get the actual achieved cut size for this diameter so if the n is 2 the diameter becomes 
uh, 0.717 and uh, the V remains the same because uh, it is not affected by the diameter and the cut size uh, where we use uh, Stokes 50 uh, equation, equation 9.21 from the textbook, we get 3.65 micrometer. So to answer the question, we need two diameter stem and high efficiency cyclones in parallel uh, arrangement with diameter size 0 0.717 meter and that will give us a cut size of 3.65 micrometer with a pressure drop of 100 uh, 1177 okay so that is uh, solution for question one and then we have uh, worked example two so this one uh, is a range of um, uh, feet analysis so um, it, the sizes has been given so the feet analysis that means the mess the mess that has been obtained for each grade uh, as well as the this is the to, uh, total mass for each grade and the uh, cost product size so from these results determine the total efficiency of the cyclone and then we pl plot the grade efficiency curve to show the x50 cut size is uh, 10 micrometer and then we have to determine the diameter and number of cyclones to be operated in parallel okay this one is similar to equation i worked example 9.1 and what is the actual cut size of your design after the changes Okay, let's look into it. Okay, first of all, from the results, the total mass uh, was 100 and the cost product was 65. Okay, so uh, the total was simply uh, adding up this, okay, for the mass and also for the cost product. So we get it in, in mass. And the total efficiency is uh, affected by the mass of the cost products. So we get the total efficiency as 68.56%. And then uh, we do the grade efficiency. So from equation 9.7 that we discussed. So for each grade, we can also identify its efficiency using uh, this equation or this equation. Okay. So that will give us... Uh, this data of great efficiency so in this uh, uh, in this example uh, we just use directly the mass so we just divide the mass of uh, cost product for each grade over the total okay so for example 0 0.1 divided by 10 you get 0 0.01 5 divided by 1 you get 1 so this is how we get this table great efficiency and then we plot this table great efficiency to particle size so this is the range you can take the mean the mean of it or the high range so you can uh, here I think they took the mean yeah so between 5 and 10 this is this is the point so they took the mean of each range and they plot this value so once we plot, we look for 50% efficiency. What is the size? Is it 10? And yes, it's correct. It is x50 is equals to 10 micrometer. Okay, so that answers question uh, B. And next is uh, we are looking for determine the diameter and number of cyclones and the actual cut size. Okay. Okay. Uh, this part is uh, calculated for interest, just to uh, use this equation. So we can also use this equation. So how do we get uh, this information? So what we do from the question. So this is the question. This is the um, mass of the product. So if we take 0 0.1, divide by the total that we calculated just now, the total was uh, 68.56, you will get 0 0.00146. So that's how we get for uh, cost product as well as uh, the feed 
analysis so uh, 10 so if this is 10 divide by the total which is 100 so you get 0 0.1 so this is how we get the um, frequency of each uh, size range and then uh, we use the efficiency so we calculated the efficiency here so 6856 uh, so you times by uh, for example if I want to calculate for uh, 10 to 15 percent I want to know what is the efficiency like so 0 0.6856 times the cost efficiency over the uh, total efficiency so this is the great efficiency for this size range Okay, so this is how we use this equation. Right. Okay, then for um, question part C, so we have to determine the diameter and number of uh, cyclone. So again, we start off with the uh, Euler equation. Okay, uh, we have the Euler number, the fluid density and the pressure drop. So we get the vel characteristics velocity okay then we substitute it to the um, flow rate equation okay here uh, we substitute the q uh, q is equals to uh, flow rate the total flow rate divide by the number of the uh, cyclones okay so then we can identify our d in terms of n and then now we substitute expression of d and the required cut size x50 in equation uh, 50. So, um, uh, this is the Stokes equation. So, the D is substituted here. The required size was uh, 10. STK 50 just now. This one was 10 micrometer. So, that's why it's 10 micrometer, 10 to the power of 6. So, this solves for N. So, therefore, uh, we can uh, see if it is 1.88 so we need two cyclones so now that we know the D is um, uh, so now we can solve for D because we already know the N okay so the D is 1.67 so that is uh, part C and finally the part D the actual cut size uh, achieved with two cyclones is uh, calculated with uh, the D and the V that we have obtained. So we use the X50 and to find out what is the actual cut size. So this is it and it is very close to the desired cut size. So in summary, two cyclones uh, with a high efficiency and this uh, Euler and Stokes uh, 50 um, constants. The diameter uh, required is 1.67. It operates at 1,200 uh, Pascal and as achieves a uh, cut size or equiprobable cut size at 9.85 micrometer. So that's how uh, we solve this question. Okay, uh, that's all. So please do the exercise given to you in the uh, slides. Thank you.